I just created this full stack application using Lumira 2. So this is a fully functional clone of Product Hunt. You can see different products listed by different companies and also you can submit your own product by simply just clicking on the submit button and then filling all the details about your project. And after that, you can simply just click on submit button and your product will be live on this platform. There is a personalized user dashboard where users can track all of the analytics related to their products. You can see there is a fully functional authentication system as well. All of this was built with just one single prompt using Lumira 2. So Lumira 2 is a new web-based AI code a reader out there that can create complete full stack web applications and in fact you can publish your applications as well with just one simple click so before we dive deep and explore more about this tool please subscribe to this youtube channel and click on that like button as well so this is the interface of lumi.new you can see it looks very similar to bold.new and loveable.dev so using this tool you can create fully functional websites by simply just explaining it in your own words there are some other options as well like this styling so in here in this styling section you can see you can choose among all of these different styles so choosing this kind of styles will actually make your website more unique and different than a general AI generated website. So I think this styling feature actually makes this tool different from loveable.dev and bold.new because using this feature you can make more customized websites that look less AI generated. Also there is this toolbox option you can now create database, authentication system, analytic system, email services and file storage. So all of these different features will help you to build a complete full stack application. So there is this prompt playbook as well and then there is this enhanced prompt as well. But now let's just give it a prompt and then start generating something let's just start with creating maybe an official website so if i just like click on this there is this very detailed prompt to create an official website you can fully customize this prompt of course and also you can click on this enhance prompt button as well to enhance this prompt more but right now you can see i already have this very structured prompt in here so i'll just simply press on enter and now let's just see how it will develop this website so right now you can see lumi.new has already started creating this project it is creating this index.html file and also it has created this package.json file as well so if you just switch to this workspace tab and now from here if you just switch to this code tab so in here you can see in real time your source code in here all of these different files that lumi.new is creating so you can track the complete progress in here we'll explore all of these different options inside workspace once our project is ready so let's just wait for it to finish this project and then we'll explore all of these options okay so now within few minutes it has just finished writing code and now let me just switch to preview so this is what it has created so so this is a nice looking company website and you can see it's a multi-page website so if i just click on this our story you can see there is a separate page for our story and this is very unique again this is a proper page with all of these different relevant components similarly if i just click on the services and now you can see this is the services page that has all of the services that we mentioned inside our prompt similarly if i just click on portfolio so this is the company portfolio and you can see all of these different products in here similarly there are these blogs so it has just created a complete blog section as well and also there is this careers page and you can see it has listed a different jobs that this company has just posted so it's a complete website it's just not a single page now if i just go to this workspace tab and in here you can see there is this overview section so this overview has the overall analytics of this this website so to access these analytics we need to first publish this website and then it will show different kinds of analytics like how many people have visited this website and how much was the traffic in like last seven days or last like 30 days then there is this users tab and you can see right now there is only one user which is me so all of different users of your website will be listed in here there is this data section as well so we have not built any database yet but we can just like build a database then it will show all of the tables in here similarly there is this email service section so now we can actually send emails from your official email address or from your official company address you can connect that in here with your email service and then you can manage your emails directly in here you can see by default you are assigned with 10,000 credits which are like more than enough then there is this file storage section so let's suppose if you want to like store some sort of like maybe PDF files or maybe inside your career section if you want to like accept your cvs or something so you can store files related to your website right here in this section then there is this domain section if you already own a domain you can connect your domain directly in here by simply just adding your cname record inside your domains dns editor and once you add that dns record then your domain will be connected with this website if you don't have a domain already you can buy your domain from something like namechip.com then there is this security tab you can create rules to control who can read and write records so you can maybe give access to users who can read and write and delete all of the records or you can just like keep that access only for creators so yeah, this tool is different than bold.new or liable.dev because using this tool you can not only develop your website but you have all of these different tools that are required to manage your website so once you're happy with your website and you're happy with the design and you have set up everything inside this workspace section you have set up your domains maybe your database tables as well now you can simply just click on this publish button 
and now you can simply just like publish this website you can add your custom domain as i showed you that you can add that custom domain inside this domain section and then you can simply just click on this publish button and now your website will be published and this will be your website link you can then just simply directly open this link so this is now your public link now you can just share that link with anyone else or you can just like add your own custom domain and then you can access your website using your custom domain now you can see as soon as your website is published and now you can see there is this analytics page that shows your total views of your website total visits visitors bounce rate or visit duration all of the stats we can find in here and even your geographic data as well so yeah this tool does way more than bold.new or loveable.dev so i think you should definitely give it a try if you want to launch your own business website or your own portfolio website you should definitely consider this tool but if you have any further questions just leave your comments in the comment section i'll see you next video bye bye